Hello, everyone. How are you? Cindy here. I'm so excited to be here today talking about why men pull away or he's pulled away, what's going on, and how to get him back. Uh, <clears throat> you know, there's a lot of articles written on why men pull away, and it's something I, I know a little bit about and I can speak into for you. So, I'm going to talk about the top reasons why men pull away. And I know it can suck, you guys. Who's experienced that? Just put a put your hand up or just put, yes, I have. Or I'm experiencing that now. Just be vulnerable if you are. And you, know, you could be dating someone or in a relationship and you're, you know, there's this, there's this feeling, right? It could be a feeling or actions that he's doing that are, that he's pulling away. And, you know, what it automatically causes for women, the, um, the effects that it has on our brain and body is, number one, we've, we actually, we go into this mode that is the opposite of what actually needs to be done. But we go into this mode of wanting to fix it or figure out what's wrong or, you know, because a lot of times what happens in our brain is we start to recount the days, the hours, the weeks in the past, and we start to go, oh, maybe I shouldn't have said this like this, or maybe this or that. And ladies, number one, let that go. Okay, so let that go. Okay, so I'm going to talk about some of the top reasons why men pull away, why that happens, and I'm going to get into what you really want to hear how to get him to come back and also do you really want him to come back so there's that one too and why this works okay Woo! all right so the number one reason you guys in you know studies show in relationships if you're in a relationship with a man for um for three months or longer, the number one reason why a man pulls away is because he's got other things going on. Now, this can happen sooner than that, too. Just, you know, he's got some stress in his life. So he has some things happening that he doesn't necessarily want to share with you um, because he just, men want to feel like they've got their arms around a problem and that they're working towards a solution. Even if they don't have it figured out, they want to feel like they're under control because they don't like you to see him in a place where he feels out of control. Now, there are times where he'll obviously let you see that when you're in a relationship. However, a lot of times, Men, when they're trying to work something out for themselves, they pull back, which is the complete opposite of women. Because when we have stress going on or we're going through something, we automatically reach out to the people that are closest to us or even cling on to them. It's just, it's what we do. It's how we're, we're programmed. Now, not every woman does that, but you know, a lot of times that is how we work. And let me know, just put your hand, just say, yes, that's me. I, you know, I, I reach out to the people closest to me when I'm going through something because as women, we actually like to get support. We're part of a tribe. We like to do that. Who as a woman does that? I hope you do. But yes, yes, I reach out to my friends, or yes, I connect with my guy. Because it also makes us feel more connected when we're going through something. Now, the other flip side of that, it may be difficult for you to be vulnerable about what you're going through. So this is a whole nother live, but that could, there could be a looking good conversation around that for you too. So there may be some holding back 
All right, so that's one. Two, <laughs> number two, it's, it's something that, it's something about you, it's something maybe that you've done. And I know you guys, this is your biggest fear. So, and let me explain this a little bit deeper. So maybe it's something that it's a way of being that you're showing up and showing up like in the relationship. So for example, if you have trust issues and you just, you, you're actually checking his phone, you're doing certain things or you question him a lot, right? He feels that he feels or you're you're just you're feeling clingy or needy or and and maybe you're not showing that but men feel that they can they can smell clinginess neediness from a mile away so that could be something that's going on it could be you know it could even be a way that you're showing up in the relationship something else maybe you're um maybe you're being really demanding and entitled or you're pouting or you know it could be a variety of things that are rubbing him the wrong way so he's taking a step back so that's number two and it does happen so you know think about that now also don't take that on like, oh, I've done all these things wrong. Take it on like, let me really look at my behavior. How have I been showing up? Is it rational or irrational? You know, there's rational and irrational fears. And we, nobody is perfect all of the time. And certainly he's not, and you, he can't expect you to be perfect. So, just looking at your behavior as a whole, how do you show up, okay? And sometimes it's hard to see that for yourself. You know, sometimes it's really good to speak with a professional, whether that be, you know, a love and relationship coach, uh, a therapist even, to uncover some things. Um, but, you know, really getting to the crux of who are you being and how how do you you close the gap you know there's usually something underneath that okay so the next one for our time purposes um here's the next one and this one is oftentimes the most difficult one to realize this one is you guys want different things so you came together, things were fun for a while, they were going really well, you have a great connection, and then he's starting to realize that you want different things. Now, if you're a client of mine, you've, you've uncovered that you two are either aligned or not. You're either on the same page or you're not. And things can change over time, and men, you know, men will oftentimes in the beginning say things that they really want and can change their mind based on how they're feeling with you and about you because men go towards things that feel good. So if he's feeling more often than not, not so good around you, he's going to move the other direction. But at the end of the day, if you want different things, like you really want to get married, he doesn't see himself getting married in the future. Or again, you really want babies. He doesn't want babies. You know, it could be anything. You are a traveler in the world. You love to travel. You love to be a part of cultures. And, you know, his idea of traveling is, you know, taking a few day trip in his RV up the coast of California, you know, who knows, right? So, so you want to make sure that you're aligned, so you're not aligned. That's another one. And men feel it. Men really, really feel this if they don't see that there's alignment, they start to pull away and 
because they're not always sure. Also, women were the leaders. We start off communication. So he's feeling that from you or just feeling that in general that it just may not be aligned. So the next one, and this is a kind of a good problem. And again, if you're a client of mine, if you work with me, I don't recommend this and sometimes it happens. It's gotten too intense too soon. So maybe you guys have started dating, you got together, you became exclusive and it got pretty intense and there's all these great lovey-dovey things. And he's pulling back because it's just a little too much. Not that he doesn't like you, not that he doesn't care about you, he's just pumping the brakes a little bit, okay? So, it's not a bad thing. It just got a little too intense too soon. Okay, so there's another one. There's another couple I just want to share with you. You are paranoid. <laughs> so this one's kind of funny. You're, you might be conjuring things up in your head or you're sensing something. You know, one of the things I highly recommend, and I suggest this all the time, you know, when I'm working with my clients or I'm talking to women and they're struggling with this and, you know, I'll say, is there anything that's changed in his life? Is there something going on different? You know, oh, yeah, it's the summertime and he has his daughter all summer. That's something different, right? Or he just got a big promotion. You know, it could be anything and we don't think about it because, we can we oftentimes think about how is this affecting me instead of like wait what's happening what's happening here with him so you're being paranoid maybe he has a few other things going on or he's had a little bit of an intense work week or there's something going on that you're being paranoid about it's not a big deal and all is good. So there's that, or there's this last one, which is that he's just not that into you. Now, typically, he's just not that into you happens pretty early on. So he might have gotten to know you a little bit, and this is not about you personally, it's just you're not the right lid for his pot. And my Versa. And if you really dig down deep and this is happening to you, he's probably not the right guy for you either. So he's just, he's not there. Or it's, you know, I've had it happen at times where I've been really interested in someone. I really thought this could be a potential great connection. And as things started to get up and running, he pulled away. He, you know, he decided to, to go a different direction, which he just wasn't that into me. And frankly, ladies, I want to really share this to you and get this point across. You're so valuable and so worthy of being with a man that fully sees you and is just as into you, right? Just like you'd be doing a disservice to a man that you're with that you're just not that into because you've probably been there. I think many of us have, if we're honest, right? So I wanna talk about, so now that we've talked about why, the reasons why he's pulled away, how do you get him back? What, what are the steps that you should take to get him back? So here's the first one. Don't stress, seriously. So it's, it's natural for us to go into this what panic mode, recounting the steps, going into almost an obsessive thinking, especially if you're exclusive with the guy, right? So, and if you're not, if you're dating him and you really like him, but you're not exclusive, I highly recommend you go out, not today, not tomorrow, not next week, don't put it off, stop obsessing, and date other people. Get out there, mix and mingle, have some fun, get your flirt on, go have happy hour with your girlfriend, whatever it takes. Get out there and meet some men. Especially it's, you know, right now it's summertime. Um, so 
go do that. Do yourself a favor, take the pressure off and do that. So don't stress, do things to de-stress. I recommend working out as well, meditation, prayer, getting really into those things to really calm your, you know, maybe feeling of anxiety around this. And do a little bit of journaling. Why do I feel anxious? What's coming up for me? Why? Why? And then let it go. Like, feel those feelings of maybe fear, anxiousness, anxiety, and let it go. Trust. Trust that all is going to work out as it should. And go out and do some really great things for yourself this weekend. So that's the first one. Do not stress. Because men feel it. Even if they're not with you, you're not reaching out to them. Do not stress. And don't reach out to him. If he's pulling back, the thing that I know you want to do is reach out. Sit on your hands. Because you want to see what he's going to do. You want to see if he's going to reach out to you. You want to see... Um, what you know what's happening because if a man comes back when a man comes back when he does it's because he's figuring his stuff out he's figured his stuff out and he misses you he's like oh i wonder what's up with her and i'm gonna let you in on a little secret so men even if and this goes into the breakup thing. Even if a man breaks up with you that you guys weren't aligned, maybe your heart was broken, 90% of the time he's going to find a way to reach out to you. He's going to reach out to you. And it's not always because he's reaching out to you because he wants to get back together necessarily. He's reaching out because he's curious. He hasn't heard from you. And his, and his old, you know, when you guys were dating, he heard from you all the time. And he's, he feels a bit of that void. He even misses you a little bit. Not necessarily the same way that you might miss him, you know, in this situation. Okay, makes sense. So getting back, because I know you guys, I can go off on these tangents, but this stuff is important. So if he is, I want to put a caveat on this because I put, he will come back guaranteed. If he is interested, you are in a relationship with him, unless he's a total ghost, which that did happen to a client of mine. Um, but it was the best thing ever because she met the love of her life not long after that. However, okay, so he will come back if he feels like there's a connection there, he wants the relationship, he's just got some things to figure out. He will come back. So there's that. Don't reach out to him. Number three, and this is a big one. Number three is going back to number one, don't stress. Number three, go do you. Really do the things that make you happy. And get honest with yourself. Have you fallen short or fallen away from those things that really do make you happy? And go do them. Like, do things that feed your soul. Like, being by the ocean, the beach, it just feeds my soul. Being on the sand, it grounds me, right? Know some of those things that make you feel good. A great workout, I feel that way about. A nice book, you know? Things that just feed your soul. Go do those. If you love to dance, you know, um, go do those things. Get together with your friends, you know, 
really make sure that you're doing things in your life that aren't just duty oriented and that you're slowing down to connect with yourself, getting intimate with yourself, and really also figuring out, do I want this relationship? Why do I want it? And I feel called to share one more thing. When I was sharing, you know, maybe it's some way that you're showing up that's making him pull away, which you can. However, is there a part of you, because our fear can do this, is there a part of you that's inadvertently pushing him away? Now, neediness will push someone away. Who's, you know, if you've dated a man that has come on really strong, seems really needy, how many of you guys did it scare? Did it scare you? Yes. We've all been there like, whoa, what's wrong with this guy? Why is he coming on so strong? Or, you know, why does he like me this much, right? So it could be all of these things. Ladies, I just want you to be aware and know true, true, true that men will naturally pull away at times in a relationship. They just do. It's actually, it's, it's the cycle of love. And sometimes men will pull away. And this is a really big one. I forgot to share this. I'm going to let you go right now in <laughs> just a second. They pull away because they're evaluating the relationship and they're looking at, can I go to that next level of commitment with her? Can I provide her with what I feel like she desires and is worthy of? Can I provide for her in a way that I want to provide for her? that I want to show up for her. So they take time. They pull back during those times. So pulling away isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's an evolutionary part of the relationship. I hope this helps. Please do me a favor, ladies. Um, share this with somebody that you think needs to hear this. Also, if you're on YouTube, you're watching this, you like it, please press the thumbs up. Also, subscribe to our channel, my channel, Create Your Own Luck and Love. And if you like this, you're going to get videos almost every single day. Yay. And I want to hear questions, comments below. Let me know. I'm happy to answer and be of support to all y'all out there. Sending you so much love. And I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.